Uh, Catherine, what exactly did the court rule today? Hi there, Delano. We are the Constitutional Council here in France has basically approved Emmanuel Macron's government's plans for its health pass. So that means as of this Monday, August the 9th, everyone wanting to go to a restaurant inside or outside on the terrace on a long distance train or on a plane uh, will now have to show a health pass. So that is proof of a completed vaccination cycle or a negative COVID test of less than 48 hours or proof that you've recovered from coronavirus. Um, they have, though, however, struck down a couple of measures that were also included in this global new health law here in France. So, for example, the government had wanted to make it compulsory for anyone who tests positive for COVID uh, to be isolated for 10 days, only allowed outside for two hours between 10 and 12 a.m. The Constitutional Council says that is not proportionate. Uh, there are also a few other measures that they've taken down, notably uh, that uh, vaccination is now compulsory for all carers and healthcare workers. Uh, that is part of the law, but what they can't do is that they can't, they can suspend a full-time contract, but they can't end a part-time contract. The Constitutional Council ruled that that was not constitutional indeed. So perhaps some nuances there, but overall it has has gone through and summing up in their their ruling today the constitutional council said that you know this did infringe on people's some people's individual liberties but that under the french constitution the government also had an obligation to pr protect the health of the french population so for those of us that may still be confused what our video was talking about france has basically made it obligatory to show a pass sanitaire basically a health pass proving you've been vaccinated have tested negative for covid19 which i think is pretty crazy basically when the french president was visiting the french polynesia like three weeks ago he made a statement to the like citizens telling them like they're gonna have to show pass that can be in various different ways basically you can either show a proof of vaccination that, that's basically the two doses of the eu approved vaccine in the pieces of Moderna, Astra, or Johnson & Johnson, all that stuff. Or basically, you can show that you're negative for PCR or antigen, or you can show COVID-19 recovery certificate that is less than six months old. Anyone who enters an establishment without showing a valid pass can be fined 135 euros for a first offense, which I think is crazy. <laughs> but basically, from July 21st, uh, places like cinemas, libraries, nightclubs, gaming rooms and casinos, museums, zoos, swimming pools, uh, sports centers, theaters, concert and festivals, indoor sports facilities, cruise ships and ferries, domestic transports, hotels, holiday resorts and camping sites basically have to show a uh, 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 hell pass to basically be there. And it's, it's just wild. Like, I've been reading about it all morning, and I just wanted to share with you guys for those that might not know. I, I think it's crazy, but I can also see where the government is coming from. Yes, a couple things can be, like, worked on. I was re I was watching a video today that said, like, parliament actually didn't rule towards everything Macron wanted. They ruled against some of it, which I think is the right way to go about it. Like, that man is crazy. Gosh. But also, like, also, the other crazy thing is I've been looking up health passes, yeah? And France is not the only place that is doing the health pass thing. Italy, Germany, and France are like the European countries right now that actually also have health passes. Uh, Italy has something called a green pass. Germany has a health pass. France has a health pass, which I think is wild, man. I'm, I feel like America is about to, like, embody this whole health pass thing. And I, I just think, like, it's kind of like dictatorship. It, like, I don't know how to say it, but I think that's kind of like dicta the dictatorship. Like, like telling people they gotta do something like to be able to leave their house or to be able to do anything they love doing which i think is crazy yeah. once again i think it's crazy and another crazy thing is according to motengen poll this week 37 percent of french people sympathize with the demonstration 48 percent are against people protesting and 60 percent approve of mandatory vaccinations so yeah, there's like more people in France that want, according to the poll, people, more people in France want the vaccinations to be mandatory. Like, I feel it, I feel it. But you guys should also know that if you're vaccinated, I'm pretty sure you can't get it again. So you have nothing to worry about. The people that really have things to worry about are the people that are not vaccinated. So it's like, 
it has nothing to do with it. people that are already vaccinated they chose to do it on their own accord so yeah get vaccinated i just feel like people that don't want to do it they must have their own reason i'm not vaccinated because i never got covid so i don't i don't see any use to but hey to each his own man i just wanted you guys to know like if you're going to be going out so you guys nobody get in trouble look cinemas library clubs gaming room museum even zoos where animals are you gotta take your health class with you so they don't bust your ass or find you 135 dollars or 35 euros you know what i'm saying gang members all right you guys stay safe man stay lit go in the comments and tell me some more videos to see about the protest it said 200,000 people were out protesting last weekend july 31st that's wild Fuck. 200,000. that's crazy bro but hey, stay lit. Please subscribe. Tell them to, uh, subscribe so you can follow the journey so we can see how this takes a turn whenever COVID goes away. I don't. Do you guys think COVID will ever go away? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if it will ever go away. But if it does, that would be a good thing. But hey, stay lit. Subscribe. Like. Once again, follow me on Instagram. I'm just copying me. Okay. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Hey. I think I drink too much, eh? I think I drink too much, eh? I think I drink too much. You roll me blood so I can't cool off. You know, Catherine, this health pass issue has divided many in France in recent weeks, and it's resulted in large-scale demonstrations. We've seen that for three weekends in a row, people have been taken to the streets across many cities in France. Will this decision help ease divisions, you think? Well, judging on what the people behind me are saying, it doesn't seem that way. There's only a small group of people here demonstrating in Paris, around 100 or so, but they're extremely angry and they say they're going to carry on protesting. So we'll have to wait and see what happens in the days and weeks to come. Now, these demonstrations have been taking place on Saturday for the past few weeks, and the latest one, on the 31st of July, uh, gathered more than 200,000 people in protests across France. So there is anger here, and it's something the government is going to have to deal with. But we've got to keep it in proportion because at the same day when there were more than 200,000 people demonstrating, more than 500,000 people went to get vaccinated. So there is real anger here. People talking about their rights being infringed, about uh, the government acting in a dictatorial way, an authoritarian way. But there are also 60% of the French population in the latest opinion poll which supports this drive by the French government to get people vaccinated and to stop those who aren't vaccinated or don't have a negative COVID test from accessing public places.